Yeah. Welcome back. Later with Leon, I'm your host, the Destin Legend, Leon Rogers. T-shirt Thursday, so I'm rocking my T-shirt. I got two guys with me right now, though. If they ever put out T-shirts with their face on them, I'm getting them. <laughs> to my immediate left, my brother, Mr. Steve Bardo, one of the first persons that ever worked with me on radio doing a sports show. Y'all can clap for him, studio audience. <laughs> and last but not least, my man, he's not a myth, he's a legend. Give yes, it up for Mark McGuire, world Appreciate champion. You, How y'all doing, man? You're doing great, man. Good, man. Glad to be here with you. Hey, bro. It feels good I mean? to sit next to y'all and I'm the same height because they reduced y'all chairs down. <laughs> right, right. But let's talk about it. Let's get right into it. Uh, <coughs> you guys, along with Cliff Levenstein, are headlining the South Chicago Youth Basketball Clinic, and it's mm -hmm. called Hoops Till It Hurts. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, it's a great organization that we're partnering with. Uh, as we're members of the Retired Players Association, so we're partnering with Hoops Till It Hurts. And anything we can do in the community around basketball, uh, we want to do out at the Ray Kroc Center. Nice. And it's just, you know, giving kids an opportunity to, to work on some skills, learn uh, from NBA champions about their path to success and, and different things like that. Yeah, well, you know, I like the fact that uh, we get an opportunity from the Player Association to uh, attend events like this because it's real, you know, and not many times in many events these uh, children get to actually see and touch and feel individuals that they've seen so you know if we have some positive things to give them when they're looking at us you know maybe it'll sink in good and and we might change a life or two i always say that, that you could throw money at a problem all you want to but your presence yes. is powerful yes. so with that being said how did basketball influence and change you all's lives because we all come from like similar backgrounds some middle class some from the dirt, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I know I know a couple of brothers basketball changed their life, whether they played overseas or whether they played in the league. What's your stories? What's you guys' stories about as far as Well, I, I'm, I came from a basketball family. Uh, my father played collegiate basketball. My brother played in Indiana. My sister played junior college basketball. I'm the baby of that. And so basketball has been my life. Everything I do has been around basketball. So the success I've had on the court, off the court, uh, now covering college basketball for Big Ten Network and Fox, Go, traveling to different countries in Africa, doing free clinics. Basketball is my life. No doubt. And that's, that's what it's all about for me. Well, I, for me, you know, it was a matter of uh, just having a friendship in my neighborhood. Uh, I was uh, one, the only son, you know, to my mom and a uh, little fat kid anyway. You know, I, <laughs> I, 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 you know, I was fat. But uh, it was an opportunity to really uh, be in friendship with other people and other guys in my neighborhood so you know uh, back when I grew up and grew up is the fact that that's how we got together and had camaraderie and knew each other and knew other families next door and things like that so it was a matter of just communicate through your family with me and, and also uh, one thing I liked about basketball and sports in general you went to other neighborhoods and played guys yeah, and you made friends so so like we knew guys at Brainerd yeah. Park Jackson Park, Absolutely, you go to yeah. Alt Gale Gardens, you know, you know, you go to Leclerc Courts, get your run you know on. Hey, Leclerc Courts, be, be cool. Hayes, I mean, I'm cool. Real okay. ballers. Yeah, we just seen fifty thousand yeah. change hands and Hayes from the guys out there betting. So, at the end of the day, what advice would you have to young athletes that are coming up now? And, and Chicago is in a troubled state. Mm -hmm. You know, what, what, what? what advice would you have to them? Because you, you played in the public league yeah. here and uh, you played downstate. Mm -hmm. So what advice would you have to young athletes? Well, you know, I mean, you, you're asking me to say it to young athletes and I would like to reverse that. You know, my advice is to the athletes that have done what they've done. You know, I've been, uh, had the great opportunity this summer to be able to go into neighborhoods that most won't go. Mm. You know, I am who I am. I understand who I am, but, um, I've made an impact by just being present. You know, I've been everywhere. And I would like to extend to our groups, mm -hmm. it's not enough to just see you on the television, in the screen. It's not enough. You know, I would hope that you would go be seen inside be present, our yeah. I, that's, yeah. that's what I'm built on. I hope that you would do that. Yeah. For me, young people, you can stay in the game. Yeah, good stuff. Like, uh, Hoop Till It Hurts is expanding their programming to where they're just trying to get kids to understand you can't, you may not be able to play to the level of Mark Aguirre or to the level that I play, but you can stay in the sport of basketball. There's so many opportunities. There's so much positivity around the game. I think it's the best game out. Man, listen, I, I sure do appreciate it. I got some hoops. 
who telling her stuff. They got some nice little get yeah, t shirt. Oh, see now. Why did I get, yeah, why did I you get didn't this, get bro? the you didn't get the bucket. See, that's only for the entertainers, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after you know. That's only for the entertainers, man. Hey, y'all stick around with us, man. Yes, we wanna talk a little basketball. <laughs> yes, it, we'll yeah. be right back. More later with Leon coming up. Mark McGuire, Stephen Barlow. Stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. T shirt Thursday. Ooh. 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 Ooh.